Okay, this, he actually has evil within. <laughs> Chapter two. Something I've suppressed. A group date, maybe. That was all just chapter one. <laughs> How many chapters are there? I don't I, know. We've only seen the first th Well, he's only seen the first three. Yeah, I like started chapter four, and then I wanted to show Reiner, and the game ended up crashing because of the alt tabbing. Two years. It took two years to see her again. Unfortunately. My majoring was already very, very well underway. I was starting to be used to the university lifestyle. Living on my own inside a gloomy one-room apartment for less than a year. Zero passions. I only knew how to do one thing correctly, which of course, studying. I feel like he has all the traits that make a psychopath <laughs> and a serial killer. As if you know, I was funny. the subject of a curse a long there time ago. Are there are people known as tame psychos and psychos. Ted Bundy. <laughs> No, tame cycles of people who think about. Oh, I oh my god! Down. Oh my god! I just realized this guy. Might, this guy might actually be Ted Bundy. His name is Tim, not Ted. Tim Bundy. <laughs> he, 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 listen, I I watched like documentary on Ted Bundy. This is this guy is looking quite like it. <laughs> I don't know why I was so into it. Probably have a lot of doors opened up to me in the future. What if I? What if I don't want to enter any of them? I know I have no idea to go up the ladder. I sure wouldn't know what to do with all the money being thrown at me. I guess it's a type of attitude that could attract um, some people. How about you get a house, buy some food, pay your bills? Maybe meet a woman who doesn't want to fight you? She doesn't want to fight him. He wants to fight her. Why don't you find a really competitive... Really, she doesn't person. want to fight him. She wants to bang him. <laughs> Why don't- why doesn't the guy find a really hyper-aggressive Scottish woman to play video games with if he's just motivated for competition? My god, this guy would be the most amazing capitalist ever. He- he would be the master of esports. <laughs> Cause he'd literally kill the competition. <laughs> <laughs> he'd, he'd go up to a CSGO tournament and it was like, oh, he lost the first round. Give me a minute. You just do 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 I went with the flow, finding my own amusement and somewhat carefree demeanor. One day, out of nowhere, he decided to invite me to this. I don't remember how it was pronounced. I can't call it a date. A group date, maybe. Anyway, there was a group of men and women at the same age and logged typically up the same number to meet together with each other for almost the first time in an attempt to find love. By the way, I fully unified Ireland. Congrats. Now I'm gonna t I'm gonna hopefully try to conquer Wales. I I can't even read this paragraph. Okay, I need to look. How oh, how fucking bad? Which one? The second paragraph here. God. <laughs> to find someone to oh my oh my. <laughs> Oh my. Oh my. You know, this might morbidly be somewhat factual. However, not something you want to say out loud. So I accepted. He was kind of odd, though. He said to me, you won't regret it, Tim. I even have a surprise waiting for you. Oh my god, you just committed murder on the, on the mass degree. And he would laugh like an imbecile. He was an imbecile. This guy, why, why is he friends with you? <laughs> and I only realized what he meant by that when I entered the bar we were meeting at. Moe's Tavern. There was that Mo? Mo? I'm joking, it's a Simpsons reference. Oh. Oh. Oh, I thought, I thought it was being, I thought he was like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. There are four guys, four girls. Two of the girls were completely unattractive. 
one uh, fat or with a big chin and it had a weird hairstyle. Of course, you're being really rude to the women. The other one was almost our. The other one was already almost in bed. That big mouth guy. So those three were unbearable. So when I first thought upon entering the you, bar. You know, Brown, that's not the word that was on there. I know, I'm not going to say it though. <laughs> The second, though, weren't as different as the first, but they were still very surprising indeed. It was her! Oh my god. She oh was there, no. drinking a beer casually with the other guy. Sports-like type. Oh no. But of course, not for the same reason. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I should just get out of here, it's so pitiful it's not even funny. That's when Mike, my friend, noticed my arrival and forced me to introduce me to the group. Oh no. Can we at least see a character model for Mike? I mean, you have this okay. outline. Give okay, us now, okay. Show us him. Okay, now, like... <sighs> Mike looks like an asshole, I'm not gonna lie. I want, to see, I want to see his hairline, at least. I want to see his face. Because the thing is... He looks like one of those guys you would see in an anime show where he's like supposed to be that really tough guy who can't talk to people very well. Like he tries to be that tough guy and it always comes out wrong. Yeah. Cause you can just see I the really... outline of his head. This is, you know, this is really making me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> hey, this is the guy I was talking about. Hey Tim, come, don't be shy. We were waiting hey, for you. Tim, buddy. But he has a hand behind his back. He has a knife. He's got, he's got a knife. I almost clicked my tongue out loud. Turns out Mike was the serial killer the entire time. I sat next stop? to my okay. friend. Okay, now, can this guy needs to stop saying that these people were unfuckable. Because, I mean, really, <laughs> this is not how you look at people. I mean, the former Prime Minister of Italy called Angela Merkel an unfuckable whore, so... I mean, she is. <laughs> Straight from the German. I tried not to look too much to the right-hand side of the table, because the, sym the symmetry irritated me somehow. Give me a... M s s symmetry of what? I don't know. He said my name out loud and everyone else's name right after. I don't remember any of them. I seriously don't want to use even the most useless part of my brain to score one of them. So I politely greeted everyone until it came to that name. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and I can introduce you to Cassandra, but I guess I don't have to, right? Tee hee 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 hee. I looked at him annoyed. You are an asshole. He's really happy to introduce me such, to her. Such a big asshole. As though meeting her again would make me happy, like it's a gift or something. I don't want your gifts. D Mike, d what did we talk about? How does he oh, already know, know that we knew no, each no, other? No, 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 no. He is Michael Myers. Mike is short for Michael. No, it was, it was like the Tim goes up, Mike, Mike, remember what we talked about. You know what kind of person I am. <laughs> You I know what I can yeah, do. My hand scratching my hair a bit flustered. Yeah. Dumb. <laughs> she looks sad. That is um. Remember what? Uh, you, uh, you, uh, Jenny, remember when you talk about date rape? <laughs> oh no. I'm grateful for that, even though I harbored hate for her. For the most part of my life, and probably still, the fact that she understood my reluctance to face her was what saved the little composure I had left. So I was able to enjoy my beer while chatting with the group of people around me. It didn't disturb me all that much that she was actually there. Just like that, in the heat of the moment, I didn't know what to think of. Didn't even understand the feeling I had for her anymore. I hated her for a long time long enough that she wasn't even human, and the fact that she disappeared completely from my life at one point, my mind only assumed that she was dead. You know, that'd probably be good for your this psyche if it was. This guy mind of a computer. I'd <laughs> stick with that way. I don't see person, person dead. 
though not human presumed, presumed dead, looking so lively and joyous. It was only natural that I baffled a bit. I feel like he doesn't even have a higher intelligence of an animal. He, he's, he's, he's like he's so he's, intelligent, he's stupid. <laughs> it's like, his, uh, why? <laughs> I'm just gonna- was, I'm not gonna read that, any of this, I'm just gonna keep moving along. That was unnecessary. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was- sorry. I was about to make a point, but then you- but then you zoom in, and I'm just like, no. No, I don't- I don't need to make any points. I tried not to look at her, but it was hard when surrounded by ugly girls. Look out the window, you- you dumbass. Do you see any windows- oh wait, there's one like right there. With the chin girl, oh my god, that chin! <laughs> The Crimson Chin. Why are you trying to hook up with that? Oh god, you can tell. I was at my fourth beer. <laughs> oh my god. So she's hot! The first couple decided to finish the night alone. This made things a bit complicated. Now there were me, the fat girl, my friend, the big chin, the sports dude, and... I can't even Whatever. say her name. The girl that I once knew. It's going harder and harder to not actually interact with her. I'm... That's when the this... phone of the girl sitting in front of me, big chin, started vibrating. I need to, like, Google the definition of serial killer. <laughs> she became kind of hysterical by the... I think it was a message that she received on her phone. <coughs> She said a couple of words to the girl sitting next to her, and then took off. The girl looked at me a bit awkward and said, Sorry, her ex just texted her, so... As if it were the most understandable thing in the world. So that ugly chick just dumped me for a guy that probably flushed her a while ago. <laughs> I was depressed. Not for her departure, per se, obviously. At least the alcohol started to do its work. <laughs> That's when everything uh, started to turn into the wrong direction. Oh no. My friend who was seated to the left of me in front of the one chick was now seated to my right. The sports dude who once chatted with that girl was now enjoying his time with the chick on my left. The fat chick, thank you. I don't need to be insulting here. In fact, we don't even see them. We see their silhouettes. I I don't. Is it actually that dark for you? No, I see like the black silhouette, but I don't see like anything else. Yeah, you just see the black exactly. silhouette. You don't actually you know, see you them. You know, it's probably because my internet is not really caught up. No, you don't actually it's see a... any of these characters except for Cassandra, and that's it. That's when I realized that my friend, without notifying me in advance, started a group conversation with her and me. Okay, this guy is That's... asking to get- he's gonna get stabbed. He's, he's gonna be dead in a ditch. So, from where do you two know each other? Mike? I was staring want... at the table, or maybe Mike, my you... beer in my hand, trying not to Mike. look too interested. Mike, do you want to see your family? To answer that, Mike. She answered, answered him with something something while giggling. I don't even remember all that much. She seemed to be clinking. She too seemed to be drinking quite heavily. So you're both wasted talking to the only sober person here. I mean, you're not that- I don't think you're exactly that sober. Maybe it's fate. Who knows? He was irritating me. <laughs> It was so obvious that he was the one who pulled this off. Perhaps they were in mesh with each other to humiliate me or something. Or you, or he's just doing it to like get under your skin, like you know a real friend does. That's my other something. Probably I shouldn't have. I don't know why I thought it would be a great idea. Tell me. I looked at him with quite a bit of defiance. How do you, how do you know that she and I knew each other anyway? Putting all the cards together, I see. You know, I think I'm gonna go for tonight. You guys best see what happens. Alright. Yeah. 
he would be confused, unable to explain himself properly. But that wasn't it. He was surprised I didn't know the reason behind it. Come on, man. Everyone in high school probably knew about it. Don't you remember the nasty girl with her friends who were starting bad rumors about Cass just because she quit school? Ah, now I remember. Oh man, I remember still, you were so ruthless. You walked up to these girls and started insulting the heck out of them. Half about how uneducated they were. How they were wasting their time. Okay, this no gets her. <laughs> okay, this guy. It's like, he hated her, but he hated everyone who insulted her. He started this... numbering every achievement Cass ever accomplished. To the prize, she won during some piano competition. To her, to the national rank, she topped with her academic results. Okay, now, now I, I don't understand this guy. Does, uh, what's, what does he want? What's his, what's his end goal here? And you know, I'm not one to hit a girl or anything. But this was, but this one was asking for it. She didn't listen one bit. She was continuously cutting you off about something she heard down the street. How ridiculous! Oh. Mm, prostitution. This was... This was when I was still on the very edge of losing what I thought would be my only drive in the world. Some chicks were bad-mouthing her about something along the line of prostitution or something stupid like that. Only it wasn't... it wasn't a lie, though. That's the sad part. <laughs> it was the week she had quit high school, so anything goes, I guess. But since then, they had nothing else useful to do. They started to say about her cheating exams or giving sexual bribery to the teachers to top higher on oh, the Oh, God, no. No. She's... And she's right there, too. <laughs> she's still there, like, listening to that. That's when I lost it. Because they were telling her those ridiculous things would in insulate that my rival was... But I always thought with my equal was nothing more than a fake. Which was completely unacceptable. My rival had to be my equal, otherwise I had no meaning in this world. You, he really doesn't have any meaning in this world, to be honest. And I would have... I would have beaten the crap out of them if it weren't for the teacher meddling with it. Hey Tim, remember what you shouted at her to make her shut up? Oh, Apparently gosh. not. <laughs> Flashback time! Enough, even if she prostitutes herself for cheats during the midterms, it doesn't change the fact that she's better than the lots of you. At least she achieved everything she set herself out to do. You low-life bitches will never understand the meaning of the term achievement as long as you still live in this world. You understand? You worthless piece okay. of shit. <laughs> Okay, you went a- that's a bit overboard. You see, I had to say it all because it was a flashback. Anything that's a flashback, I'll say word for word. As long it as it doesn't get something. too vulgar. As long as it doesn't get to a point in which I- Even if I say it, it'll hurt me. It'll hurt you. <laughs> Anything that's in the present time, I'll cut down and make it clean. Anything that's a flashback, I'll just say straight up. I remember it down to the very last syllable. I have no clue why, though. Hold on, are you are you are you recording this? Possibly. <laughs> he said it out loud, not nearly as perfectly as I remember it. God damn it! But it was still surprising hearing it from someone else's mouth. She's still sitting there, hearing all of this. <laughs> she finally realized. This was bad. This was a misunderstanding. I never said any of this in order to protect her. I said it because, at that moment, I knew for a fact you were head over heels for her. found it so tragic you never had the chance to say it to her yourself. I, so I can understand why, when I met her out with absolutely no out of nowhere my part-time job. You need to... Mike, you need to stop. 
I had to try and arrange something out for the both of you. My, Mike. Mike, please. So You're that's good. why you invited us here tonight. Mike, Mike, please, you might not see your family again. <laughs> well, he has a part-time job, so I'm not sure if he has a full family yet. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, parents. I'm pretty sure Tim's not going to go that far. Maybe. Yeah, look, looking at his track record so far, he is a loose cannon and he will kill anyone in his way. <laughs> He hasn't killed anyone yet. <laughs> you don't know that. He hasn't brought that up yet. Well, we've seen parts of his high school life where he insulted girls because they were insulting his only the close thing to his equal. The only excuse of his existence, really. I was then at my fifth beer. I'm not what you call a heavy drinker back then. I was so agitated, all right? <laughs> Yeah, you, you really you really are, clearly. It was easily concealed by my wasted features. Wasted features? Yeah, man, well, it's we're friends, right? So you you look so down all the time, so I thought this might cheer you up. You know we, You didn't have yeah. to. Like, like, like no, no, no. Like, no, Frank, seriously, you, you might die tonight because of this. <laughs> I, d I don't know if my if my serial killer alter ego can prevent it, can, can just hold back his rage right now. <laughs> she wasn't saying anything much. She was looking my way silently. But I couldn't muster the strength to look directly at her. I wonder why she was so silent when he was saying all those things that were so directly related to her. I mean, she's, so, I mean, she's probably drunk, first of all. Then... Oh, that's my girlfriend texting me. Sorry, guys, got to go. God damn it, Mike. A useless friend got himself up in a hurry. What? What do you mean you have a girlfriend? What is he even doing here, then? Wait, that's what you're asking? <laughs> Tonight was for you, man. Yeah, and tomorrow might be for you when you end up tied up to a train track. <laughs> he approached me ever so slightly. His breath bringing the stench of warm beer with it, he whispered to my ear, Enjoy yourself, will ya? And with this, he disappeared without a trace. And thus instilled the seeds of potential date rape. But I was intoxicated to the point where my actions, my mind perceived around me were as though everything was a fast forward. Life and time were moving rapidly without my consent. Yeah, there's nothing like living without consent tonight. Yep. This was extremely awkward. I turned my oh, luck to ask the other two what they plan to do. They so desperately wanted to end the night right then and there, but... <laughs> hey, do you have any idea what... There was no longer anyone seen there. Knowing this, I looked around and realized that she and I were the only ones left at the table. Oh. They took off 10 minutes ago. Or maybe it was 15. <laughs> Yeah, she's drunk. For the first time, her eyes... I made eye contact with her. Her face was flushed slightly red by the effect of alcohol. It would have been visible to a blonde that she was totally wasted. Can you just... Just swallow your freaking rage for five minutes. I didn't want to speak to her. I didn't want to have another minute wasted in her presence. God, the social such... etiquette was forcing me to. It's like forcing Hitler to speak with a Jew. It just, it's not gonna end well. Let's get out of here. I said pretty coldly, but she accepted right away. Why couldn't he say he said it coldly? Because I said it like he was being cool about it. She accepted right away. She didn't show any fear of being alone with me, even though we were complete stranger to one another. When I take a cab, I asked forcefully, but she said, "Let's walk for a bit, all right?" Tisk. This is she's she's fucking drunk. I clicked my tongue, but I made sure she heard it all right. 
Don't fucking add sound effects. <laughs> Don't do that. She didn't mind, or at least she didn't show it. If he, whenever he does that TSK thing, I'm going to make the clip. She had her, she had a smile plastered on her face ever since we left the bar. Not slightly affected by my cold behavior. She's drunk. And she's happy. We didn't talk at all. That was the whole point of you walking. She wants you. It was alright until she stumbled a bit on my shoulder accidentally. It's zooming on the shoulder, like. It's like, you dare touch me, filth! <laughs> that shoulder, though. <laughs> Why is that when oh, he remembers what? all this? What? Wait, what? It was then I realized that she was a member of the opposite <laughs> sex. Hold on, no, no, hold on. <laughs> pause, pause. I mean, this is the closest thing I had to pausing. <laughs> no, I mean, like... <sighs> Why do you need to remember that? Why do you need to re have a realization of that? He's finally remembering that she's human. Why? Why did you have to do that or, effect? Or, uh, or in his case, subhuman. She looks Cause... happy, doesn't she? With the happiness that she stole from me. And now we're about to get to the very bad area. We continue walking silently, but somehow closer now that I helped her back onto her feet. Wait a minute, isn't it that kind of situation? You know, the one where you walk her to the closest hotel and she's too wasted to understand what's going on? No, it's not that situation. You, now you need the Tim. Tim. Tim, Tim, Tim. please. You're, no. you're, going, you're going down a dark road you don't want to go down to, old Tim. Tim, you're, stop it. You're being very immature. You don't need to look down there. Her no. eyes are up. Her eyes are up for Tim. Look up. Keep, yeah, keep panning upwards. A little faster, please. There are children watching this, Tim. One simple look at me probably would have given it away. But she's too preoccupied to trying to walk straight to even look my way. The sin of, okay, no, but that I'm line with the sin. Imagining such pressure, so now tainted the, with the sin of my imagination. Now that line, with the sin of imagination, that's the stupidest thing I've heard in like months. Let loose without any restraints, only pushes me further down this unforgiving path that shouldn't be crossed. <laughs> Boy, you, like, you, you, but you, no, you didn't decide, Tim. You did you? Didn't. I'm already fantasizing on her purity, only to increase the pain so I would definitely inflict onto her. You know, yeah. you're so... Uh, you need to be put in a, a... You need to go to Arkham Asylum at this rate. You need to share a, a bunk with the Riddler. I want to make her cry, realizing she will lose something she will never get back. At that time, I will look every last tear from her face until she's completely yeah. drained out. Freaking Harvey Two-Face... Harvey Two-Face would look at this guy and just like, Bro, you're fucked up. <laughs> No. 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 That moment will seal her fate, and at that time I'll rip away that smile from her perfect face that I've always hated so much. You need to stop this, Tim. Maybe at the end of the day I will be satisfied enough to forgive her. You need to stop no. this, Tim. You need to stop. And 
the only thing I regret is not having acted the part at the start of the night. If I had faked being gentle and caring, had laughed with her about how young we were back then, I could have pushed her even down the road of complete hopelessness by betraying even her expectations. Or you can stop. She said, you go. I, she said softly out of nowhere. I abruptly stopped my hand from getting any further. Hey, you better stop it. Yeah, I didn't please even notice stop. because I was too focused on her alluring forms that she was looking at my face. For how long, I had no idea. But she saw it. That, I'm sure of it. My disgusted expression already tarnishing her with my... Damn it, boy. You need to I, stop. She saw everything, and yet the only thing she said was... I'm sorry. I knew so much you hated me, yet I... Why? Why? She no. stumbled up. She stumbled up on me again with even less restraint. Her eyes, those eyes I remember, were they really this way? It can't be. Yeah. I stopped, and by that means she stopped herself. Do you have any money? I asked mechanically. Not much. She replied as if knowing the question would inevitably be asked. Can't be helped. I pulled out my phone again mechanically and put a string of numbers. What are you doing? Oh, sorry, this is Cassandra speaking. What are you doing? I didn't reply to her. I didn't even look her way. Instead, I... Yes. Yes, at the intersection of blank and a blank. I put away my phone, emotionlessly. Tim, I thought it would have been nice to talk for a bit. Don't you wanna... You weren't even talking! Yeah, you were so drunk that you didn't even do anything. She seems let down. What does this woman want from me? Uh, well, I mean, that last line, yeah, I think she is. Didn't I she think see she... my face a moment ago? She's that desperate to be by some loser like me? <laughs> I take out my wallet, take two $20 bills, shove it in her hand, and shove it in her hand violently. A taxi will be here in five minutes. This should cover the bill. I turn around without waiting or saying goodbye for all in the matter. She doesn't say anything either. She just looks at me with those eyes. Those eyes, which are even colder than mine. <sighs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Chapter three, an unexpected encounter. I hope to never see her again. The better part of two years, it turned out pretty much that way. I might have glanced at some of some familiar features once or twice during that time, but I simply avoided coming closer to that particular person in order to escape the chance of an encounter. <coughs> I had graduated from college, I was now working for a company less than a year. I diligently focused on my work, the same way I did it during my time at school. Even though I didn't have any ambition, I'll... The way I did my work mechanically like a machine was something to be proud of, supposedly. At least that's how my paycheck saw the whole thing. I feel like he enjoys communism. I don't know, he... I don't think he enjoys anything. I don't think he... under. I don't think his parents taught him what happiness was. We don't even know if he has parents. They aren't mentioned at all. You know, you know like, to, to make this even worse, they, this the, the, this story should have started off with him being an orphan, really. <laughs> they, they were in the same orphanage. I mean, this story could start off anyway, really. It, could, it can go the Batman route if it wanted to. <laughs> My life seems to be pretty much set in stone by like then. This chick, this chick may as well be Catwoman. I even finally found a girlfriend who could deal with my boring self and my even more boring life. 
Okay, girlfriend. I, I, okay, his girlfriend, not a wife. Okay, thank God. He can cut. He can cut ties immediately. <laughs> I didn't love her. I think she knew it. She simply turned a blind eye. Or she too was using me for her own interests. It doesn't really matter. I don't think she loves me either. Not that I think I would love someone myself, even if I was forced to. So, he hates himself, even. He hates everything. It was a night like many others. That particular client loved to meet in a particular environment. Even if it was to only speak business. Not that he was the only one with such special requests. And to be honest, it didn't bother me all that much. It was the third time that I would come to this place. Normally we'd meet on a Tuesday. But because of unforeseen inconveniences, we decided to meet on the following Thursday instead. Weird. All because of one problem, he had to go there on a Thursday. Why a Thursday? Like, why did... I guess, I guess he wanted to meet in this environment and all that, and like, he wanted to specifically meet at this place. And they had to meet on different days. But could they have literally gone anywhere else on any other day? This is the strip club, right? Yep. Oh. This place would be attributed to the adult entertainment. You know, it wasn't a traditional strip club like what adult. most men would think of when hearing the term adult entertainment. What else can be described as adult entertainment? This place was a bit more classy. How's... I don't understand the... What's the difference, really? It's just women. Instead of the term prostitutes, women would bear the name of hostesses. Hostess? Okay, that that's a brand of donut. I should know, I used to love those. No, it's the term hostess, like a waitress. I know, but there's a donut brand called that. <laughs> True. You should know, I used to eat them, I used to eat them for lunch every freaking day in school. Yeah, you were that guy that ate the same lunch every day. Yeah. It was a ham sandwich with the cusp cut off, cut off, even though you still tore off the outside of the bread. I, I don't know. I don't know why it was I'm weird. I'm weird. <laughs> I'll admit it, I'm weird. And then you also always had chips and donuts. You also had a water bottle, but you never actually drank the water in it. I saved the water bottle for when I got home. Then I chugged it, because I was really fucking thirsty. Some people might wonder why such business would be categorized something similar to a strip club. Adult entertainment, you robot. But what you need to understand here is the women survey in this particular establishment can be bought for an, the night. The only wait, thing is, wait, did you say bought? Yes. Jesus, that's sexist. <laughs> they can be fought for the night. The only thing is, you need to pay the high price, all right? They're high quality, after all. God, this is like sexual slavery. I was with the man speaking of everything except the meaningful topics until the hostess came in. He started asking if there was anything, if we needed anything to drink, but quickly became agitated in the middle of her speech. Probably because she finally understood whom she was dealing with. <laughs> because obviously, it was her. Oh. Uh, no, she didn't really change that much. I mean, it's only two years. Hmm. I mean, sure, there's definitely some change, but when you're already basically an adult, nothing really changes that much. Until you get around the 50s area where you, where you get all wrinkly, old. Yeah, but this was like right after college for him. Those dark urges that made their apparition two years ago. The vulgar evil passion which had driven my mind completely wild back then. Saying we have a second chance with the date rape. 
the woman I thought may have been a virgin two years ago is working as a prostitute. For how long had she been doing this? Again, she made a fool out of me. I thought those were just as I could that night, thinking it would be wrong and yeah. subject those evil yeah. intentions on such a pure and delicate woman. Yeah, but you feel stupid about defending her in high school, huh? <laughs> I mean, he didn't really even care, he just wanted to beat her then. And I... I wouldn't say beat her as in the term of actually getting a victory against her, because where this is going, I can already tell where this is going. I, un going. Uh, I understand, we, they're, they're gonna go to some BDSM shit soon, and I'm worried. We're looking at Fifty Shades of Grey, except from the guy's perspective. <laughs> it's gonna be Fifty Shades of Red. <laughs> Where even was I in this whole thing? Uh, here we know. go. Subject evil intentions on such a pure and delicate woman, when in reality, she was stained since the very beginning. He probably even wanted the damn thing, forcing that me to pay you. the facts. After the well, fact. I'm, well, I mean, minus that last part, yes, she did want it, you dense motherfucker. How sly of her. How very sly of her. Looking down on me like that. This time. I just realized my character was arbitrary. The careless. Fuck off. That sped through quickly. Uh, define sped through. Uh... <laughs> Can't we speak for a bit? She said, extremely tense. Full hour after meeting her at the bar, I had chatted with her for a bit, not hiding my complete disinterest in what she was saying. Jesus Christ. You are a sinner. I didn't say anything about her profession. Perhaps she thought I was mindful or something. Well, I betrayed that thought, alright. I simply said to her, let's finish know. this let's finish the night at the hotel. Please no. Please no. Please no, I don't. Doesn't I don't. Does he have a this. girlfriend? Yeah, he does. We just Maybe. arrived. She pointed out, we should drink some wine to loosen up the mood, don't you think? Okay, no, no, stop it. No, stop, Tim, 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 stop it. <laughs> Be nice to Cassandra. No. <laughs> oh my god! Well, her eyes turned red. Oh my god, man, I feel bad. What? Okay, the no, no, shut up now. No. This is bad. No. <laughs> hey, look, anger. Nope. No, 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 that's, that's too much for my blood. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try and get through this the best I can. Yeah, uh... <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> my innocence! <laughs> Stop hiding yourself. No, please keep continue to hide yourself. Showing it to every loser who just Jesus Christ. Can you stop? hard to read this? Just stop. no. Who made this? Eh? Who? It's, a, it's like, how are you so obsessed? I was trying to keep a minimum of respect. Minimum? That's not a minimum. That's like a, that's a, that's a, that's a non-existent. You just went to the negatives. Okay. Now yeah. we're, now we're, now we're, now we're in rape territory. Now yeah. it's become rape. Yeah. It's become, it's become, yeah. oh. Stop that. <laughs> Please. Please. Tim, you, you Tim, you're out of control. You are out of control. 
I know you probably you probably believe that if you're not out of control, then you're not in control, but that is wrong. You need to calm down. I must look extremely terrifying right now. Do you think? In no time. Nope. Nope. No. 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 Okay, victim blaming. Victim blaming. <laughs> it says here, it's no one else. Is fault except her own. She made me who I am. She you cannot did be helped. This. You made me to this hateful human being. She should be asking for forgiveness. She hadn't laughed at me all these years. The situation. If she hadn't laughed at me for all these years, the a... situation would have never come into existence. She was a child. And you clearly are still a child. You are a man child. Something inside of me was shouting those things to me, encouraging me and going further. I don't, I just want you to stop. Tim. Please. Yeah. Now the words. And then, her face. Her face without that smile. Her face which is bright red, contorted with sorrowful expression. She this was is crying. Gonna... You know, this is going to turn to some weird fuck, fucked up Stockholm Syndrome scenario, and I'm not ready for that. But those were not tears out of fear for her, for her life. Out of fear, out of fearing for her life. She didn't ask me to let go of her, at least, or at least be gentle with her. She was just silently crying that she had given up, wasn't scared at all. She was disappointed. Of me? Of her? Of the situation? I have no idea. But, this is... but why was I even trying to understand anyway? By the point I had stopped myself, for what reason, I don't know. Her behavior was hypnotizing me. I don't know what to think of it. You just raped a woman and you don't know what to think of it? What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, he didn't even, he hadn't even done anything yet. Oh, oh, it, he didn't rape, oh, okay. <laughs> like, he was like, at that moment where he was going to, but never gone through with it. Isn't this what I was wishing for? It was my fantasy, wasn't it? To take away that no. smile of hers, the happiness? No, but then you but no, but then you realize you don't want to go to prison for half your life, right? But now I prison but now I realize there was never any happiness in that smile to begin with. Our eyes met. Those big brown eyes full of distress. I could drown myself inside of them, alright. And how tearful they were. They were passionate and they held a darkness darker than my own. That's like not possible. You are like literally multiple serial killers and dictators at the same time. Noticing my slight hesitation, she took as an opportunity to mutter out something. Mutter out something. Something faint. Almost inaudible. Something incredible. Dun dun Oops. dun! Oops. Stockholm Syndrome kicked in. But she's saying here that she always loved him. <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome says childhood. Nope. Must have been the orphanage. I wanted to at least say it to you. I wanted you to know how I feel. I want you to know, I know how much you hate me. It's so easy to see, but I absolutely needed to get this off my chest. You better start getting him off your chest. Hmm. <laughs> No, don't you I'm be ready. making them jokes. Just please stop looking sad like that. You don't need to... You don't, you don't... need to get out of... It just... It, it, get out of your way it. to make me understand. We, we get it, chick, alright? We get it. You don't you need understand. to act anymore. She wasn't scared at all. I was nothing to her. Her eyes were telling me this. You know, uh, have you, haven't you paid attention? Why are you laughing? You said, oh, he, 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 he's a killer. He's about to kill someone. Started laughing like a maniac. Continuously harassing me, even in this situation. She saw through me with ease. Why don't you understand that she wants to fuck you? I was never a match for her. I let her go dully, get off the bed and turn away from her, completely defeated. Still, I was laughing like a broken record. I was laughing. Gee. I was trying to speak, 
I guess I'm not totally prepared for it yet. I take another breath and try another time. Get out. It's no use anymore. All I ever wanted was for her to feel as hopeless as I do. But now that I've noticed, now that I've noticed that her hopelessness was greater than even my own, you there's know, no this point is doing like, this anymore. He, he's like a type of yandere who just, instead of this falls in love and will kill anyone to get to them, no, this is like, he just hates them. So much hatred, they just, he, he, he doesn't get it, he just doesn't get it. The thing is, he will kill anybody in order to defeat her. That's the kind of level he's at. It's in... I don't get it. There is nothing left for me to take away from her anymore. There is never anything for me to take away from her in the first place. How pathetic. Yeah, buddy, I, you are pathetic. I don't wanna... She said with decisiveness. I didn't see her. I didn't have the courage to look for her anymore, but I knew what kind of face she was making. Insert the scene from Get Out where the guy's just screaming, Get Out at the dude. <laughs> to that, she hugged me from behind. It was an awkward hug, something normally an only in inexperienced teenage boy would uncomfortably do to his first girlfriend. Yet I felt her strength. Her. Determination. Time to get that Undertale shit out of here. Honestly, I never even completed it. How irritating. Why are you so fucking stupid? Turned around violently. I take her perfect visage rough, roughly in my left hand. With the strength on my hold. The strength on my hold. Push her into. Being violent, are ya? Well, I mean, she's. It's, yeah, it's not like she. It's not like she's not wearing any fucking clothes on her. All while the while making sure she feels the pain with every motion I make. Don't you understand? If you stay here, I'll break you. Both physically and mentally. Like a real BDSM session. My face was extremely close to hers. I could have literally eaten her. Don't all say it like up that, you fucking right creep. That instant. Yet she didn't flinch. She didn't look away from my fully dilated pupils. She didn't so show any sign of pain, even though she was definitely feeling quite some. She was now showing me her true self for the first time in all those years. And at that very moment. That's exactly what I want you to do. You're into some weird shit. I noticed that out of both of us. I was... I was the one who was really frightened. Really, Tim? You were the only one that was actually frightened? Buddy, I've, I've been scared for a long time. Chapter 4. An explanation I didn't need. <laughs>